Hi everybody, I'm Jeremy Rolston, two-time Olympian and author of A Life That Counts. Almost as certain as death and taxes is the fact that our lives won't be this accession of highs. We will face obstacles, we'll face disappointments, we'll face adversity. And so learning to overcome disappointment is really crucial to becoming who we wanting to be and to fulfill our potential. And so today I want to share with you a couple of points around overcoming disappointment. I know I've faced disappointment in my life many times and I don't mean to trivialize it, I don't mean to theorize it, but I want to share with you things that have helped me that I hope will help you. The first is that you'll always go through natural stages of grief if you face a major obstacle or disappointment. But no matter what, you will face a point in time during those stages where you need to choose to refuse to be the victim, to choose to overcome that disappointment, to choose to move forward. The second is try and see the big picture. Try and remind yourself of why you did it in the first place. What was the big vision? What was your dream? And that will help you understand um, why you really started that journey and try and put it in perspective. The third thing would be Draw any sweetness you can out of the adversity, even if you really don't believe it and you're not congruent with it, hang on to any sweetness or positivity that you can. Try and see it as a blessing in disguise, even if you don't believe it, say it, and that will help you keep going. And the fourth thing is, use stubbornness as your friend in these situations. If you're a stubborn person like I am, this is the very time to be stubborn because perseverance is about not quitting, not failing, at the very time you wanna quit, that's when you want to not quit. Stubbornness with a purpose is another word for perseverance. So I hope that these have helped. Uh, good luck with going after your own dreams, uh, overcoming any disappointments you face, and uh, here's to your best life.